I, uh, this is my second lecture uh, in module 1 uh, and uh, on simple linear regression. In the uh, first lecture, uh, we have introduced uh, a simple linear regression model and uh, <coughs> we have learned uh, uh, how to estimate the regression coefficients using uh, least square uh, technique. Uh, here is the content of uh, today's lecture. Uh, first, uh, uh, we will give one example on simple linear regression and then we talk about uh, useful properties of uh, least square fit and uh, then the statistical property of a least square estimator. Uh, well, uh, let me just uh, recall the simple linear uh, regression model. The general form of simple linear regression model is uh, y equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x plus epsilon, where uh, y is the response variable, x is the regressor variable and uh, epsilon is the error term and beta naught is uh, uh, intercept and the beta, beta 1 is uh, a slope. And uh, we call uh, beta naught and beta 1, they are, I mean they are uh, regression uh, coefficients. Uh, now, uh, given a set of observations, say x i, y i for i equal to 1 to n, uh, we learned uh, how to estimate the regression coefficients beta naught and beta 1 using uh, least square technique. So, least square method determines the parameters. Parameters means uh, the regression coefficients beta naught and uh, beta 1 by minimizing residual sum of square S S residual, which is equal to E i square i equal to 1 to n, uh, which is basically equal to the difference between the observed response value and the estimated response value y i hat. So, this is the residual and uh, y i hat, this is y i minus y i hat is the uh, is equal to beta naught hat plus beta 1 hat x. So, this is beta naught hat minus beta 1 hat x i whole square, because the fitted equation is y i hat equal to beta naught hat plus beta 1 hat x i. Okay, so, uh, and uh, we learned that uh, beta naught, I mean this uh, S S residual or residual sum of square is uh, minimum uh, when beta naught hat is equal to y bar minus beta 1 hat x bar 
and uh, beta 1 hat is equal to summation x i minus x bar y i minus y bar by summation x i minus x bar whole square. Well, this uh, quantity uh, is also denoted by the symbol S x y by S x x and this one can also be written in the form summation x i y i minus x bar y bar n times by summation x i square minus n into x bar square. This is not uh, difficult to uh, to observe uh, just uh, a simple algebra shows that this quantity is equal to uh, this quantity. Okay, so, let us move to the uh, Disney toy example. Uh, this is the a cost on advertising and this is the sales amount. So, uh, these are the x i values and these are the y i values and uh, we want to fit a, a straight line model to this uh, data. This table shows uh, summation x i equal to 15, summation y i equal to 10, summation x i square equal to 55, summation y i square equal to 26 and summation x i y i is equal to 37 uh, and then we can uh, compute the value of beta 1 hat. So, beta 1 hat is equal to summation x i y i minus n times x bar into y bar by summation x i square minus n times x bar square, which is equal to 0.7. And similarly, beta naught hat is equal to y bar minus beta 1 hat x bar, which is equal to minus 0 0.1. Well, so the fitted equation is uh, y hat equal to beta naught, which is equal to minus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.7 into x. So, this is the fitted equation for the given observations. Now, uh, what is the interpretation of this regression coefficient beta 1? So, it says that, that the expected value of the response variable or expected uh, sales amount is increased by 0 0.7 units for each 1 dollar increase in advertising. And the interpretation of the coefficient beta naught hat is that what is the average sales amount when x equal to 0. So, beta naught is equal to y hat when x equal to 0. So, beta naught hat, beta naught hat uh, this basically gives some idea about the average value of sales amount 
when the advertising advertising cost is equal to 0. So, I mean it is very difficult to explain why it is so, because uh, see we can expect some sales amount without uh, advertising also, but here it is negative. Uh, anyway, so the beta, beta not had is the average uh, sales uh, volume, uh, which is equal to minus 0.1 when the advertising cost is equal to 0. Well, uh, next uh, uh, we move to the useful properties of least square feet. It says that uh, we know what is residual. Uh, this E i is the difference between the observed response value and the predicted or the estimated response value. So, it says that the sum of residuals in any regression model that contains an intercept beta naught is always 0. Okay, I am going to prove this one. So, the summation E i is equal to 0 and the second property says that the sum of the observed value is equal to the sum of the fitted values y i hat. So, I mean this second property is, uh, is a consequence of the first property, it is obtained from this one only. Uh, let me prove uh, the first property, which says that the uh, sum of residuals in any regression model that contains an intercept beta naught is uh, always equal to 0. So, what we have to do is that we, we, we have to recall uh, the uh, least LS method, least square method. Uh, least square method uh, determines the parameter beta naught and beta 1 by minimizing by minimizing S S residual that is res residual sum of square which is equal to summation E i square. Okay? And uh, this is basically equal to summation y i minus y i hat square and uh, this is equal to summation y i minus beta naught hat minus beta 1 hat x i square. Well, so uh, least square method or LS method uh, determines the parameter beta naught hat and beta 1 hat by minimizing this quantity. So, what we do is that we differentiate the residual sum of square uh, with respect to beta naught hat and uh, we equate that with 0 and we get the first normal equation. The normal equations equations, there are two normal equ equations, we, we differentiate SS residual with respect to beta naught hat, that gives one normal equation and again we differentiate residual sum of square with respect to uh, beta 1 hat, that gives another normal equation. The first normal equation, uh, you differentiate SS residual uh, with respect to 0, sorry with respect to beta naught hat, uh, that gives uh, summation y i minus beta naught hat minus beta 1 hat x i uh, 2 times of this and uh, one negative sign here. So, and we equate this to equal to 0. So, this is the first normal equation and which is nothing but see this is nothing but y i minus y i hat. So, this one is nothing but summation E i equal to 0. So, the first normal equation says that uh, the sum of the residuals is equal to 0 
and uh, and this residual sum of residual E i is nothing but summation. So, this is the first property. The second property says uh, that well, so this is uh, recid sum of residual is equal to y i minus y i hat. This is the residual i th residual and we know this is equal to 0 from the first property which implies that summation y i is equal to summation y i hat. So, uh, this this one is the is a consequence of the previous uh, property or the first property. It says that the sum of observed values equal to is equal to the sum of the fitted values. Well, so next move to the uh, third property. Uh, it says that summation x i e i equal to 0. That means, uh, sum of residuals weighted by the corresponding value of the regressor variable is equal to 0. So, sum of residual e i uh, weighted by the corresponding value of the regressor variable. This is the value of the ith regressor variable, this is equal to 0. And the fourth property says that summation y i hat e i is equal to 0. That means, the sum of residuals weighted by the corresponding fitted value of the response variable is equal to 0. Well, uh, let me uh, prove uh, these two properties, property 3 and uh, property 4. Uh, well, uh, uh, we uh, by differentiating this uh, residual sum of square with respect to uh, beta naught hat, we got this normal equation. This is the first normal equation. Now, again uh, we differentiate this normal equation, uh, sorry this uh, sum of residual with respect to beta 1 hat and that gives summation y i minus beta naught hat minus beta 1 hat x i and we are differentiating with respect to beta 1 hat. So, this quantity will be multiplied by minus 2 into x i. So, minus 2 into x i which is equal to 0. This is the second uh, normal equation and this one is nothing but summation y i and this part is y i hat into x i equal to 0 which implies summation e i x i equal to 0, which is the third property. Now, the fourth property is summation e i y i hat, this is equal to 0, but, but summation e i y i is not equal to 0, you should note that. Okay, how to prove that uh, summation e i y i hat equal to 0? Uh, this is again the consequence of the first property and the third property. Uh, well, uh, this can be written as summation e i, what is uh, y i hat? y i hat is equal to beta naught hat plus beta 1 hat x i which is equal to 0, okay, uh, which is equal to which is equal to summation beta naught hat e i plus beta 1 hat summation e i x i. Now, see summation e i from the first property 
this is equal to 0. So, this is equal to 0 plus the third property says that summation e i x i equal to 0. So, this is basically beta naught hat into 0 plus beta 1 hat into 0. So, this is equal to 0. So, we proved that summation e i y i hat equal to 0. Okay, so, th these are the uh, uh, some properties uh, of uh, least square feet and uh, we will be using them in future. Uh, next, let us uh, move to the statistical properties of least square estimators. Uh, so, we have estimated the regression coefficient beta naught and uh, beta 1 using uh, least square estimator and uh, we are going to prove that both uh, beta naught hat and beta 1 hat are unbiased estimator of beta naught and beta 1 respectively. Well, let me prove that. Uh, first, I uh, will prove that beta naught hat and beta 1 hat are linear combinations of observations. Yi. That means, we want to say that they are linear estimator. Okay, for example, consider beta 1 hat. So, what is beta 1 hat? beta 1 hat is equal to summation x i minus x bar into y i minus y bar by summation x i minus x bar whole square. Now, I said that this is a linear combination of the response variables y i's or the observations y i's. Uh, okay, so, this can be written as this can be written as summation x i minus x bar into y i only by summation x i minus x bar whole square. Uh, this is easy to I mean these two quantity are same. Uh, uh, one can very easily prove that summation x i minus x bar into y bar that quantity is equal to 0. It is not difficult to prove that. Now, this is from i equal to 1 to n and i equal to 1 to n. Now, this can be written as summation c i y i, where, where c i is equal to here i equal to 1 to n, where c i is equal to x i minus x bar by summation x i minus x bar whole square. So, I proved that uh, beta 1 hat is a linear combination of the observations y i. Similarly, uh, one can prove that beta naught hat is also is a what is beta naught hat? Beta naught hat beta naught hat is equal to y bar minus beta 1 hat x bar. So, this is also a linear combinations 
of the observations because see this is nothing but this is nothing but summation y i from i equal to 1 to n 1 to n and minus beta 1 hat x bar. We already proved that beta 1 hat is a linear combination of the observations y i and the first term is also a linear combination of y i. So, the whole thing is a linear combinations of the observations y i. Okay, so, uh, this uh, just proved that the estimator uh, we, we got uh, they are linear estimator, they are linear in y i. Next, uh, let me prove that the estimator beta naught and beta 1, they are uh, unbiased estimator. That is, we are going to prove that expectation of beta 1 hat is equal to beta 1. So, if this is true, then we call beta 1 is an unbiased estimator. Okay. Uh, well, uh, let me start from here. Uh, the simple linear regression model is y i is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x i plus epsilon i. Okay. Now, y bar y bar which is equal to summation y i i equal to 1 to n this is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x i will be replaced by x bar and epsilon i will be replaced by epsilon bar. Okay, so, where x bar where x bar is of course, equal to summation x i 1 to n and uh, epsilon bar is also equal to summation epsilon i 1 to n. Okay. Uh, then from here, y i minus y bar is equal to y i minus y bar is equal to beta 1 into x i minus x bar plus epsilon i minus epsilon bar. Okay. So, the expected value of the expected value of y i minus y bar is equal to see uh, one thing you should observe that you should always uh, remember that uh, y is a random variable the response variable y is a random variable, but x is not a random variable it is it is a controlled variable. So, uh, for given i this is just a constant. Okay. So, expected value of y i minus y bar is equal to beta 1 x i minus x bar plus expectation of epsilon i minus epsilon bar. Now, epsilon i is the random error which follows which is a random variable and this follows uh, we assumed that epsilon i follows normal 0 sigma square. So, the expected value of E i is equal to 0 and similarly, the expected value of epsilon bar is also equal to 0. 
So, the expected value of y i minus y bar this term is going to be 0 is equal to beta 1 into x i minus x bar. Now, our aim is to prove that beta 1 hat is an unbiased estimator of beta 1. So, expectation of beta 1 hat is equal to expectation of what is beta 1 hat? Beta 1 hat is equal to summation x i minus x bar y i minus y bar by summation x i minus x bar whole square. Okay. So, this one is nothing but summation x i minus x bar into expectation of y i minus y bar by summation x i minus x bar whole square. Now, note that uh, we, we proved that uh, expectation of y i minus y bar is equal to beta 1 into x i minus x bar. So, expectation of beta 1 hat is equal to summation x i minus x bar and this quantity is equal to beta 1 beta 1 x i minus x bar by summation x i minus x bar whole square. So, this is nothing but beta 1 only because this one is nothing but x i minus x bar whole square. So, we proved that uh, beta 1 is an beta 1 hat is an unbiased estimator of beta 1. Similarly, next we prove that beta 1 hat sorry beta not hat is also unbiased that means we are going to prove that expectation expected value of beta not hat is equal to beta not. So, this is equal to expectation of y bar minus beta 1 hat x bar. So, what is y bar? y bar equal to we proved in the previous slide that y bar is nothing but beta naught plus beta 1 x bar minus beta 1 hat x bar. So, so this is equal to expectation of beta naught is beta naught, expectation of beta 1 x bar is equal to beta 1 x bar. Now, the expectation of beta 1 hat just now we proved that the expectation of beta naught beta 1 hat is equal to beta 1 hat sorry beta 1. So, this is equal to beta 1 x bar which is equal to beta naught. So, we proved that both beta 1 hat and beta naught hat are 
unbiased okay next uh, we will talk about the variance of the variance of uh, beta 1 hat and uh, beta naught hat uh, the variance of beta 1 hat is equal to sigma square by s x x and the variance of beta naught hat is equal to sigma square into 1 by n plus x bar square by s x x. Anyway, I mean uh, we, we need to know how to how to derive these things. Uh, well, so next we talk about the variance of variance of beta naught hat and beta 1 hat. Okay. So, the variance of beta 1 hat is equal to the variance of what is beta 1 hat? Beta 1 hat is equal to summation x i minus x bar into y i minus y bar by summation x i minus x bar whole square. Okay. Uh, well, now uh, this can be written as the variance of summation x i minus x bar into y i by summation x i minus x bar whole square. And this is nothing but see, uh, I before also I proved that uh, this uh, estimator is a, a linear combination of the observations y i. So, the variance of this quantity is uh, and since y i is are independent, you know, uh, well, so this is equal to variance of summation c i y i, where c i, where c i is equal to x i minus x bar by summation x i minus x bar whole square. Now, uh, we know that the variance of variance of summation c i y i is equal to summation sum of variances c i square variance of y i. This is true because, because uh, y i's are Y, y i's are independent and uh, we know that uh, variance of y i is equal to sigma square. So, this is equal to summation c i square sigma square. Now, what is summation c i square? Uh, summation c i square we know this is this is c i. So, so, variance of beta 1 hat is equal to sigma square into summation c i square, which is equal to summation x i minus x bar c i square. So, summation x i minus x bar whole square by summation x i minus x bar whole square 
and square of the whole things. So, I am just uh, replacing C i square by its value and this becomes sigma square by summation x i minus x bar whole square. which is equal to sigma square by s x x by notation. So, we prove that variance of beta 1 hat is equal to sigma square by s x x. Okay. So, next uh, we talk about the variance of uh, beta naught hat. Uh, variance of uh, beta naught hat is equal to variance of y bar minus beta 1 hat x bar right now this variance can be written as the variance of y bar plus the variance of beta 1 hat x bar minus 2 times x bar the covariance of y bar and beta 1 hat. Right? Now, uh, you know the variance of y bar, uh, I hope uh, you know it, uh, it is equal to, it is not difficult to prove that this is equal to sigma square by n. Uh, let me prove this, variance of y bar is equal to the variance of 1 by n summation y i. Now, y i's are independent that is uh, uh, the assumption we made uh, at the beginning because e i's are independent. So, epsilon i's are independent. So, uh, y i's are also independent. So, the variance of this quantity is equal to summation of variance of y i by n square right and uh, variance of y i is equal to sigma square. So, uh, summation sigma square n times 1 to n by n square. So, this is basically n sigma square by n square. So, this is equal to sigma square by n. The variance of uh, y bar is equal to sigma square by n. We know the variance of beta 1 hat and this is a constant quantity. So, the variance of this quantity is x bar square into variance of beta 1 hat which is equal to which is equal to sigma square by s x x just we proved. Now, what about this uh, covariance? This is going to be this covariance is going to be 0. So, this is 2 x bar into 0 into 0. Uh, but we need to prove this one. Okay. Uh, the covariance between this can be proved that the covariance is equal to 0. Uh, the covariance between between y bar and beta 1 hat is equal to the covariance between what is y bar, y bar is equal to summation y i by n and uh, beta 1 hat is equal to summation x i minus x bar into y i by 
summation xi minus x bar whole square right now this covariance is see yi is are independent so uh, the covariance between yi and yj is equal to 0 when i is not equal to j so this is nothing but the summation of x i minus x bar the covariance between y i and y i. So, which is nothing but the variance of y i right by by summation x i minus x bar whole square and 1 n here. So, this is equal to this is equal to uh, summation x i minus x bar variance of y i is equal to sigma square by n into summation x i minus x bar whole square. And this quantity uh, see summation x i minus x bar is equal to 0 that is why the numerator is 0. So, this is equal to sigma square into summation x i minus x bar this quantity is 0 always by n into summation x i minus x bar whole square. So, this is nothing this is equal to 0 because of the fact that summation x i minus x bar is always equal to 0. So, we proved that so we proved that the covariance is equal to 0 that means the variance of beta naught hat is equal to sigma square by n plus x bar square and the into variance of beta 1 hat which is equal to sigma square by s x x which we just proved. So, this is equal to sigma square by into 1 by n plus x bar square by s x x. Okay. So, uh, we found uh, so we proved that uh, both uh, beta naught and beta 1 they are unbiased estimator of sigma square and also we proved that uh, the variance of beta naught hat is equal to sigma square 1 by n plus x bar square by s x x and the variance of beta 1 hat is equal to sigma square by s x x. So, now see uh, both the variance formula the variance for beta naught hat and beta 1 hat uh, both uh, involve a sigma square. Uh, so, but we do not know what is the value of sigma square. So, sigma square must be replaced by its uh, estimator. So, we need to estimate the value of sigma square. So, next we talk about uh, the estimation of sigma square how to how to estimate sigma square. Estimation of sigma square well the estimation of uh, sigma square is uh, obtained from the residual sum of square s s residual and uh, finally, we will be proving that expected value of s s residual by n minus 2 
this thing is equal to sigma square. That means, the sum of residual sorry residual sum of square by n minus 2 is an unbiased estimator of sigma square and we will be uh, we can compute the value of residual sum of square given a set of observations and we know n. Uh, so, using this formula we can we can estimate the value of the population variance sigma square. Well, so we need to prove this one uh, SS residual is equal to summation E i square that we know and which is equal to the difference and the ith residual is the difference between uh, ith observation and the estimated value y i hat. Okay. Uh, well, so this is equal to this is equal to square here. This is equal to summation y i minus what is y i hat is equal to beta naught hat minus beta 1 hat x i whole square. Okay. So, what we do here is that uh, we know that beta naught hat is equal to uh, uh, just trying to find the convenient form for SS residual. So, beta naught hat is equal to y bar minus beta 1 hat x bar, right. So, we will we'll just uh, plug this value here. This is equal to summation y i minus y bar minus beta 1 hat x i plus beta 1 hat x bar whole square. Okay, so, this is equal to summation y i minus y bar minus beta 1 hat x i minus x bar whole square. Now, this can be written as summation y i minus y bar whole square minus okay, let me write plus beta 1 hat square summation x i minus x bar whole square minus 2 times beta 1 hat summation x i minus x bar into into y i minus y bar. Right. So, this can be uh, written in the form s y y plus beta 1 hat square s x x minus twice beta 1 hat s x y just notation. Now, see we know that beta 1 hat is equal to s x y by s x x. Right. So, what I will do is that I will replace this uh, s x x x y by beta 1 hat into s x x. So, this is equal to s y y minus beta 1 hat s x x minus twice beta 1 hat. Now, we replace this one by beta 1 hat s x x into. So, this becomes s y y plus beta 1 hat s x x 
minus 2 times this is square here square here beta 1 hat square s x x. So, which is equal to s x sorry s y y minus beta 1 hat s x x. So, this is the convenient form of uh, s s uh, residual and uh, we are going to use this one in the next class uh, to prove that because we need to find the expected value of this one to prove that expectation of s s to prove that expectation of s s residual by n minus 2 equal to sigma square. Well, so we will continue in the uh, in the next class. Thank you.